Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack, and today we have Desolation Suicidal Gunslinger. My voice does all kinds of crazy stuff, dude. So you wanna, you wanna find somebody that has a uh, unique voice? A unique vocal range? A unique uh, control over their voice? Find a, a trans woman who's, uh, who's worked on her voice a little bit. Or a trans man, although trans men tend to have less um, extreme differences between them. Um, because trans men get, uh, get you, you add testosterone to somebody, you get a deeper voice. You don't have to work on your voice much. You do. You, to, to be somewhere that you're super happy with it, you know, you do. And, and I'm sure that you'll tend to, to move it a little bit, a little bit deeper, but uh, the testosterone definitely does affect your voice. Uh, whereas the other way around, um, it definitely does not. The, uh, the, the, the side effect, however, while, uh, while trans men have it easier on the vocal side of things, they have it much harder on many other areas such as uh, recognition and uh, various other things that we're not going to get into today, but uh, that, that are definitely problems that trans men exclusively have to, uh, that have to face. And uh, even within the LGBT community, honestly, it's, uh, it's kind of bad. Yeah, trans men are just kind of invisible. Anyway, you want to find somebody who has a unique voice, find a trans woman. I'm telling you. Cause you can go down here, you can go way up here, and it's like, whoa, dude, whoa, what the heck's going on, man? And uh, that's not really a good example, but uh, you know, hey, whatever. Like my voice, it's just, uh, I can like go uh, all the way up, and then all the way down. I don't know. It's that, I'm not really getting my point across very well, but it's uh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about it. It's, uh, it does all kinds of crazy things, because I can take it all the way down here. If I wanted to talk like this for the rest of my life, I could. I could talk like this for the rest of my life, for the rest of my, my waking days. This voice is not straining in the slightest bit for me. This is actually something that, uh, that I haven't even had to work on. This is just me taking the voice and pushing it down a little bit, and that's, uh, it's giving me this voice, which I think that it sounds reasonably natural and perfectly fine. Although, if I were to get the inflections a little bit better, it might sound even better. Uh, whereas, when I'm doing this voice, I tend to add in a little bit more flamboyant inflections, which gives you more of a newscaster, announcery type voice than a natural speaking voice, but such is life. I can use my normal speaking voice, of course, which is already very different from my previous normal speaking voice, which used to be more down like this. I used to speak more kind of like this. Um, and I have to, just uh, the, the the whole me speaking and, and learning to, to bring my voice up a little bit. I guess I've kind of like naturally risen my voice up a little bit. Up to like here. And um, then of course we can also like continue to take it up a little bit higher. We can just kind of like move it up to like pretty much as high as we want to go. And we can kind of do it a little bit smoothly like this as we just kind of go up into a more feminine sounding voice. Into something that sounds a little bit better. And it can be like super gradual. And we can just kind of like get up into there and then like you can keep on going. And this isn't even my limit. I could go continue. I could continue going even higher. And like even going higher. And I could even go like all the way up here. This is like a, you know, kind of a little bit of a voice that you wouldn't really want to do though. So it's just, a, it's, a, it's a kind of, it's a huge vocal range, you know? And it's all, uh, I can do it all, all day, every day. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, you know? Being able to switch between something like this, and then something like this, and something like this, and just being able to switch around however I want. It's, uh, it's kind of, I don't know. I, I, I know that it blows a few people's minds at times. You know, when I'm, when I'm switching in one and then back to the other. Like, just, uh, like, I can kind of, like, do it in, like, mid-conversation or, like, mid-sentence, even. And, um... It's like a super simple thing for me to do, and it's uh, it's crazy to, to some people. But it's like the amount of time I've had to invest in it is like I don't know, like twelve hours. No, nah, that's way more. I have uh, a log of all the days that I've uh, I've spent training. I have fifteen days that I've spent working on my voice total over the past like two and a half years. Um, but those are only the days that I've actually like sat down and made a, a conscious effort to do it. I've also worked on my voice fairly regularly um, as I'm driving around or like doing other things. Like, I don't only sit down on my computer and do it. I also try and figure it out as, uh, as I go. I don't even know um, what this stuff is. But it's like, it's, like, it's, not, it's not that much time. It's not that much time. You can do it too if you want. I don't know why you would, but if you, if you do, then, then go for it. 
It's, it can be a fun party Rock trick and roll. to be able to go from uh, something like this to something like this. And, you know, eventually once I'm done with it, then I could even go to a more feminine voice and something that's even better. But, work. like, we're not there yet, so Balls whatever. And uh, you can kind of, like, switch back and back and forth and however you want to do. And you can go down here and you can go up here. And uh, just, like, slides around all over the place, you know? It's crazy, dude. What you can do with voices. As, as human beings, we're the only ones that can do this, you know? And it's, it's a skill that we must uh, utilize to its fullest. Although sometimes we just beat each other up. That's okay, right? I'm not the one getting beaten up, so I think it's okay. I used to be the one that, get, that would get beat up. I was, I was bullied in school. We had like a, a fight club in school, actually. There was a fight club. You want, me, you, want, you want me to talk about the fight? Well, you know, rule number one. No, we, had a, we had a fight club in, the, in school. And uh, it was mostly just, you know, them fighting me. But, uh, nonetheless, was the fight club. Can we toss an aid in there? Yeah, you can. Do we get hit by it? No, we don't. We would walk home from, uh, from school. And, uh, bonk, aw, bonk, aw, bonk, aw, bonk, aw. That's what's happening. I'll get him this time. You ready? You ready? Bonk. I, I did do it. I did do it. Okay, that, that wasn't done. This is done. Perfect. Smack. Look at that. Beautiful performance. Let's get you restocked. Uh, there's a, a field nearby, our, our elementary school. Yeah, we had a fight club in elementary school. And it would be, uh, we'd, we'd go there and then people would start fighting. I said it was mostly them beating me up, but, uh, they also fought each other. You know, you'd wrestle and people would go home with bruises and stuff. It was mad. It was, it was, like, crazy, dude. And that was what, uh, that was what we kids found fun. I didn't find fun. They found fun. Um, they, they found it fun to be, you know, it's like, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what maybe that's what boys do. Maybe, maybe from way back then I was uh, <laughs> I was already noticing the differences with the uh, with the boys because you know back then I was uh, well, I'm trans and uh, back then my uh, my womanly my womanly instincts and, uh, and desires hadn't hadn't quite fully manifested themselves as uh, as uh, being okay to to take advantage of or, or use or, or or be okay with you know just uh and I had, uh, I had uh, suppressed them even back then, you know, but I didn't realize them. I just uh, accepted the, the things that uh, that were around me for, for being what they were. And, uh, you know, just everybody has to, to do things that they don't like. And that's wrong. But that's for another, that's for another story. Anyway, even, even back then, you know, I guess it was, uh, it was showing itself. Because you know, I always held up, I always hung out with boys, you know girls hang out with the girls and the boys hang out with the boys and even if even if you're not quite the right uh, place there it doesn't matter because um kids do not care and uh, it was it, it sucked it sucked but i guess i guess even back then i was uh, i was noticing or at least uh, there were signs <laughs> symptoms of the uh, of the, the troubles to come i think i have a nosebleed right now do i have a nosebleed hold up I, uh, I think I have a nosebleed. I'm on the right perk. No, we're not. Switch me over, please. I, I, it feels like I have a nosebleed because my nose is like running and like wet and stuff. But I don't know. It is quite warm, so it's uh, it's possible, I suppose. But I don't know. It's weird, man. It's weird. We'll uh, figure it out after this episode, I suppose. This is the last one I have to record for today. The last case to end, anyway. Gotta record another Yam Check Tries, and then, uh, if I have the time, I'd like to record another KF2 and another Yam Check Tries, but, um, if I don't, then I don't, and I don't think I will. So I had to do a longer stream today, because it was, uh, Wednesday, and, uh, you know, Wednesdays are, uh, Death's Gambit, which I have to record an extra half an hour for, so that's, like, a whole extra episode of KF2 or, or Yam Check Tries or something. Um, 
Anyway. Yep. I, uh, I had the symptoms back then, man. I already didn't like hanging out with the boys. That's why I always tell people that I didn't have much of a childhood, though, right? Because, uh... I had, a, I had a fantastic childhood. Growing up, I mean, I was bullied. I was definitely bullied. But uh, my parents treated me to the things that I wanted. I was I was spoiled, and like, I, had a, I, had a, I had a really, really great childhood. It's just that, um, you know, back then we didn't know that I was a girl. And so my childhood was, like, designed for somebody that I wasn't. It was designed for somebody else, right? And uh, so despite that I was given many things that, that people might be jealous of, it wasn't what I... Wish I had as a childhood, so I, I often say that I didn't have much of a childhood, and that my childhood kind of sucked, and that I don't remember it, and that it was, you know, kind of forgettable. And, and people people get offended by that oftentimes because they're like, "Well, you know how much we did for you." I'm like, yeah, but like, that's not what I, I I needed in my life. And and unfortunately, there was there was no way for anybody to know what I needed because like it's such an invisible problem. But that's that's just the uh, that's just the life that uh, the trans people in general have to live. If you if you don't realize it until you're in your mid twenties, then everything before that is. I mean, at least in my case, it it can feel like it's been uh, wasted. Where are you, dude? You are just pathetic sacks of DNA. You want to throw grenades? I'll throw grenades. How about that? You want to shoot bullets? I'll shoot bullets. Get shot, dude. So that's just, yeah, it's just a life that uh, a lot of trans people have to live. I mean, some people might feel uh, happy with their childhood. They might be like, yeah, well, it was a good childhood. It wasn't the one that I wanted, but um, it, was, it was good anyway. And some people might have recognized early and lived the childhood that they wanted. I got neither of those. I, I, I got neither of those on... Uh, Behind my back, I uh, I didn't have the childhood I wanted. I didn't have the childhood that I wish I could have had, and I'm not happy with it. And I didn't realize until I was like 22, so it's just uh, a little bit brutal at times, honestly. But you know, such is life. It's the way it goes. I'm uh, you know, work on work on getting to to the point that I can be happy now, and then that's that's the best that I can do, right? It's the best I can do, and that's that's good enough, you know. I've got uh, 20 years behind me and like 60 years ahead of me. What's the what's the big deal, right? Anyway, water, dude. It's brutal. It's brutal. It's brutal how much I talk. It's brutal. I've I've said it's brutal. Have I said it's brutal? It's brutal. It's really brutal. It is though. It is. It is. It is though. It's uh, it's a lot of talking, you know. Especially today, cause I have to do the uh, three and a half hour stream instead of the three hour stream, so it's a little bit longer. And as a result, we end up with uh, we end up talking more in this day. Like I've uh, you know, today I've only talked for. I mean, you know, it's like three and a half hours of me constantly talking, right? I don't, I don't take breaks really. Um, I don't like dead air so much. I'm not afraid of it. If it's uh, if it happens, it happens. If I don't have anything to say, it's fine. I will I will think of something to say and then say it. Um, but it's 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 like you know three and a half hours of just constantly talking. Um, today that that I've already had to do, and then I had another hour of recording. So that's like four and a half hours of constantly talking that I've done, plus the half the 50 minutes here. So like almost almost. What five hours almost that I've been constantly just talking today? Uh, you know, it's a lot. Uh, I also recorded the uh, the RuneScape guide today for the Araxor. That's not a uh, permanent guide. It, it's gonna get replaced with something eventually. But I wanted something that um, I want. I have. I have to make bad ones first. That, that's just what it is. I have to make bad ones first, and then we'll move into the good ones, and hopefully. We can get into the, the proper good guides that I'm satisfied with, but this is what I want, basically, is I will run through the boss, kill it, talk about what it is, go over the mechanics, and that's that's your guide. There's your guide. Done. If you've seen a kill, I've commentated everything, I've said what I done, did, um, everything is, is, is good to go, right? Um, so, that's that's what I want, but we'll, we'll be able to make a better one eventually. I do want to make uh, one that goes over the other mechanics in racks as well. Anyway, I had to record that today. 
Uh, so that was to get all of that recorded and do it right. Probably about another half an hour. So yeah, we're, we're over five hours of me constantly talking today, basically. Which is, uh, which is a lot. It's a lot of, uh, of talking. And I've got another 45 minutes ahead of me, which is going to take us up to almost six hours of talking today. And that's a normal weekday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just horrible. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. But uh, my voice does not so much love it. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely affected by it. Which is uh, to be expected. You know, when you talk for six or seven hours a day, your voice says, uh, hey, I don't like this. And um, I don't really want to talk when I'm done, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, yeah, it's just uh, it's brutal, man. It's brutal, dude. Gotta stay hydrated, gotta keep that uh, throat nice and, and wet and, and hydrated and proper and make sure I'm not, I'm not in pain, right? I'm not in pain. My voice does sound off. I'm not in pain. I'm not in discomfort. Uh, my jaw doesn't hurt. You know, I don't have any throat pain. I don't have any of that kind of stuff. I'm treating it well. It's going well. Um, but I, I definitely do notice the uh, the changes in my voice as, as the day goes on. When, when the day starts, my voice is fairly normal, especially on a Monday. But uh, today's not a Monday. We're dead. Today's not a Monday. Um, I think we got hit by a stalker and a crawler behind us. No, just two crawlers. Same thing, basically. Um, especially on a Monday, because I get the, the Saturday and the Sunday off. I don't have to talk on them. I get to kind of, like, relax. Look forward to it. It's Wednesday today. We've got Thursday tomorrow, and then Friday, and then I get my weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Another my second weekend since official... Since, uh, since starting this, uh, since this, this official scheduling thing still don't have the gunfire reborn stuff it's soon i need the thumbnails it'll come up soon i have not even been able to record any of it yet which i have i have one episode uploaded actually i just don't have a thumbnail for it so what can you do if i didn't have them coming i would just throw on something but i have it coming i just want to start it off strong and i go from there and then we'll replace that in uh, a few months with, uh, with something else i'll get him to make another thumbnail if he wants to if he doesn't then i'll, I'll get somebody else to do it it's not too expensive to get a single thumbnail made. Um, but anyway, well, the the order of operations here, the order of, the order of purchases for the channel. Okay, so we've got uh, chair, new chair. Right, I have to get a new chair for one, so it's not squeaking. You can hear my voice going back and forth. You can hear the squeaking. It's horrible. Uh, we need to get a new chair that is less squeaky, more comfortable has more back support so that I can actually sit properly at the right height and and all this kind of stuff. I've got to get a more ergonomic kind of workspace going on here because you know I can't uh, unfortunately um, I can't you know when, when you're when you're sitting down though the best thing to do if you're not going to be sitting with like proper posture and even then um, the best thing to be doing like my, my chair just doesn't get in far enough for me to be able to sit with like good posture and then I have like a computer here so I would uh, I would normally like sit back for a bit and then, like move my posture around, and then like get up, move around a little bit, kind of like sit over here a little bit, and then I just kind of like move around as so I'm kind of going, right? But like if I'm gonna be recording down here and, and moving around and stuff, like you can hear it, right? You can hear the difference in the quality of my voice. And uh, we'll get back now. You can hear it, like the difference. It's uh, it's incredible when I'm when I'm positioned properly close to the microphone. The uh, the voice definitely sounds better. The voice definitely sounds better. Now, there are problems with it, even up here. Like, it peaks a little bit every now and then, and I have to work on that. But, hey, what can you do, right? It sounds it sounds better. It sounds clearer, louder. Many good things are, are happening here with, uh, with the voice when I'm sitting up here instead. So, I just have to make sure that I do it. I just have to make sure that I do it. And I could even do something a little bit crazy like this, right? I could even go down uh, something like that, and I could have something... A little bit like this and this would even sound even better but this kind of gets in the way of me being able to see certain things so it's a little bit annoying and we're gonna put the microphone back to where it should be right around here which is, uh, is where I like to have my microphone it covers up a little bit of the screen but uh, only the right eye looking at the screen my left eye sees the screen just fine and I have to bend down a little bit to see the uh, the top of the screen but nothing's up there except for like window bars and stuff, which who cares about those, right? Nobody cares about them. They don't matter. Anyway, I'm hungry. It's, uh, I mentioned it in a previous episode, in the one where we talked about the weight a little bit. I'm hungry. 
I'm looking forward to going and eating something. I gotta get another Yamachek tries recorded after this. And then uh, get the thumbnails and all that kind of stuff made up for the KF2 video that goes up in a moment, in an hour. And then, uh, and then I can go in and finally eat something, which is, is going to be great. I'm hungry. <laughs> so, I'm going to have a shower. You know, it's, uh, it's crazy because I sweat so much when I'm, uh, when I'm working. Like, an insane amount of sweat. Because it's hot. Right? Like, it's, uh, you might, you might think when, when, when somebody says, oh, yeah, like, I have an intense job, like, I'm sweating all day. You might think of, like, uh, manual labor or something like that. Like, nah. Dude. There, it's, uh, it's hot. Recording video, like, like, I mean, we talked about it, right? It's, like, six hours of recording today, like, six and a half hours or something like that that, I, that I'm doing today, whatever I ended up calculating. Like, all of that in a room that is, like, hot. That you're like sweating in, like oh, it's bad, dude. It's really, really bad. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for when winter comes up and uh, I'm able to stay a little bit cooler in my room, which will be very, very nice. Like my my hands are sweating and like oh, it's just bad. It's really bad. Um, it, it gets worse towards the end of the day. Like the stream's fine. Uh, it's only once I start doing the the post stream recording really that it starts to be like super bad. Um, because it starts to get into, like, you know, 5 o'clock is when I end the stream. Then, like, we're getting into 6, 7, and it's starting to get pretty warm. And, uh, people are starting to cook things in the house as well. And the heat's getting turned on because people are getting home. And not the heat, really, these days. But, like, you know, there's, uh, it's, it's hot. It's hot is what I'm saying. So, I'm, 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 I'm sweating. And uh, so when, I, when I'm finished streaming or recording, it's actually, it's, it's like fine that's hot. It's not unbearable, but it is, uh, it's definitely uncomfortable. So a, a, a better chair that breathes better would be nice, for one. Um, air conditioning would be nice. Uh, a better microphone, better stand. Possibly webcam one day. Not for now. Still self-conscious about the weight. But, uh, you know, one day. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm worried about uh, being a girl on Twitch as well, um, for having a face cam. I, 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 I'm concerned about the, uh, the side effects that will come from, from that. You know, it could be fun. You know, it could be fun. Is if I keep this voice forever on this channel. You know what I mean? If I keep this voice as being my voice for this, for this channel, and then I, like, I rebrand, I rebrand, right? I rebrand, right? I'm not gonna do it, um, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a crazy idea, dude. If I if I go with this, and we like, I would I would have to like, it would have to be something that I that I did from the start, though, right? Like I can't just do this. I would have to start a uh, a you like a new YouTube account with a new username, one that one that you can't just go Google me and find like my website and personal information on, right? Like uh, somebody that's never existed before, and then use that have no connection between me and the account other than like payment stuff which is private and please never leave that YouTube it would be the idea <laughs> um, and uh, you know so I, I keep this voice going full-time forever in the uh, in, in on that channel and then I make like another channel where I uh, I use my new voice once I'm I'm done with it Oh, you! I think you can make that. Can you make that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Found some ammo. I've always thought it's impossible, but that was pretty good, dude. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then I, I, I make another channel where I have uh, my new voice. And then I make like collaborations between me and uh, myself in the two different voices. You know what I mean? You know, you know, you're kind of following. You kind of, you kind of seeing what's up with that. You also see why it's like a dumb idea. But like, what if? What if? What if? I can have, I can have the two channels going, and nobody would know that I'm the same person because like the voice would be so different, and I would never tell people. That uh, on either channel that I'm trans, nobody would ever know. We've got a nah, I can't make it, dude. 
Maybe one day the dream the dream could come true and we'll, we'll make that jump. The dream will not be successful today. The dream might be successful tomorrow. Find out next time on Yama jumps over tiny gaps onto ledges. Who is this mysterious marksman? I don't know. I think I think it's an interesting show personally. Yeah, I watch it uh, Monday to Friday. Yeah, they brought me on as, uh, as a developer at, uh, at one point. You're part of the uh, part of the, the production crew. Even. My bloody eyes, dude. My bloody ears. And the the rest of me too with these dang stalkers, dude. Like you get like quarter pounds running at you, get flesh pounds running at you. It's like, pff, who cares, man? Who even cares? Like a flesh pound? What 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 are you? Like uh, like a clot? Is is the big fat clot? Like you're nothing, dude. You get a, you get a stalker. Oh boy, I'm scared. The stalkers they scare me. The flesh pounds they don't. You know you are you're nothing. You're nothing if not to, like the. I, I'm pretty sure they do less damage to quarter pounds than the than the stalkers. I'm pretty sure if you get hit by a uh, by a quarter pound, like we we took like what barely any damage there. We'll uh we'll take uh, a hit from you. Can you do your like flippy thing? You're not doing your flippy thing. She was just uh, roundhouse kicking me constantly. I don't respect that. As this guy does like nothing, dude. You just go whoppa, and then he's useless. I mean, you can do that to the sirens, or to the. Uh, I mean, you can do that to the sirens because they do melee attack you if you get into melee distance. Um, but you can do that to the to the stalkers too. They're just uh, invisible. This is this is where I would parry my stalkers if I could see them. So I, uh, you just gotta play commando. Get good, dude. Just get good. I say that a lot, and uh, my clanmates starting to take it on, poking some fun at me. I think. I worry. I have uh, I have some really, really nice clanmates in RuneScape. Like they're super, super nice, and uh, annoyingly, honestly, to a, to a certain extent. Um, one of them likes to give away money to 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 people uh, all the time. And uh, he's given me like a, just a ton of stuff, and I'm not gonna go into the list because it's too dang long. Um, and it's my birthday tomorrow, and like the thing is, if if I don't accept the gift, he'll just drop it on the ground. <laughs> he'll just leave it there. And I'm like, well, like I, well, fine, I guess. If if you want to do that, then like, fine. Um, you'll just leave the dang stuff on the ground, dude. Like, what a what a jerk! What a jerk! Trying to force these things into me. I'm trying to be a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Uh, but it's my birthday tomorrow, and I think he knows. And I'm I'm very concerned. I'm highly concerned. I'm uh, I'm mildly, I'm like, I don't know. I haven't really told people that it is my birthday, but. I know that he watches my Twitch stream, and I've mentioned it a couple of times, so he might know. Um, if they don't know, then they don't know, and if they don't want to get me anything, they don't want to get me anything. Like I said, like I've explained before, I don't like presents anyway. But uh, I think that's why I'm mildly concerned about uh, about this fella, about this chap, because I feel I feel like he would. Uh, where are you? I, I feel like he's the kind of guy who would do something crazy, you know. You don't know, either do nothing and be like, oh, happy birthday, that's great. Or you would do, like, something ridiculously stupid. And either way, I mean, I'd rather him be like, oh, hey, happy birthday. Than uh, do something crazy, but... Anyway. I don't know, it's weird talking about this kind of stuff, because, like, I don't know what he's going to do. And I don't know if he's going to do anything. And I don't know if he'd want to do anything. And then talking about it like he might is, I don't know, it sounds, like, self-important to me. Um, but that's not really what I'm getting at. But that, that's what it sounds like. Is that like I'm so important? He's gonna give me things, you know. It's not really the point. Um, I do find it annoying when people give me stuff. I don't find him annoying. He's nice. He's a nice guy. Or such nice guys. He, he's a he's a he's a nice chap though. I talk with him like on uh, night uh, every night kind of thing. 
we we hop into the the voice chat every night nowadays now, so it's quite nice. I didn't I didn't have friends that I would do that with before, you know. And uh, nowadays I uh, I do, and I wouldn't consider these people to be my like my best friends, but um, it's nice to have somebody that I can uh, I can chat with every now and then, you know. Like actually, actually talk with. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't do that anymore, really. Where I like actually talk to. I mean, I, I have like a whole YouTube and Twitch thing that I do, and I, I talk to myself, playing games and stuff. I'm like whiffing so many shots, man. Um, yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, so it's, it's nice. It's been nice to have uh, to be able to pop in and and sit there and, and just shoot the crap for for like, you know, a few hours. Every night, basically. He's probably sitting in there right now waiting for somebody to join. And I might go join after I've gotten all my recording done and then showered and then ate. And then I might just go to sleep. <laughs> but anyway. It's all good. I don't really care what people do for my birthday, honestly. I'm feeling generous. I'd rather people do little. It's not a very important thing to me. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. Like, if you don't like the cadence that I do on this, I do it because I think it's annoying. And I will see you next time. Subscribe to see more in the future. Like the video if you like it. Comment if you have anything. I'll see you next time. Yeah, that's, that's how I go, right? Bye.